What's up guys, welcome back to Ify Chronicles. In this video, I'm gonna show you how you can deploy a contract on Zora. I already showed you on a previous video all the things that you need to do on Zora, which is sending some funds, minting some NFTs using Zora.co and also creating your collection. Once you're done with that, you can also use Holograph, which gives you the option to mint some free NFTs. So basically you get some diversification there. And once you're done, now the other part is actually deploying a contract on third web. So to send your funds to Zora, just for you to have the explanation here, you can come to Zora.co, you connect your wallet, your MetaMask as usual, and then you can bridge some funds from the ethereum blockchain this is obviously a little bit more expensive but if you want something that is cheaper you can use orbiter which orbiter it will cost you maybe one dollar or two dollars maximum and the minimum is like ten dollars so pretty inexpensive and with ten dollars that is actually more than enough for you to use zora once you're done with minting some free nfts go to third web which is where we're going to be creating or deploying the, the contract once you connect your wallet, let me go ahead and do it right here so I can show you the process real quick on how it would work. If it is the first time that you're using Third Web, it will ask you to also add a email address. So once we're, we're done, we will go to deploy a contract. I'm going to click here again on deploy or you can click on explore right here. And it will give you all the options on the things that you can deploy. We do have NFTs. We have Marketplace, which will create a marketplace for you for NFTs. We have Edition Drop. We have um, a staking contract and many, many others. Um, let's see. Token Drop, Airdrop ERC, many, many things. But to be honest, the cheapest and also the one that is easier to use is the token. So let's go ahead and look for it. Should be somewhere. Um, let's see token token let's go ahead and click on view all token there we go let's click on that we're going to click on deploy we're going to add the name which would be dcz i'm going to use the same for the symbol um, let's use defi chronicles token on Zora that would be good and then make sure that of course that you are on Zora I'm already on Zora here so I don't need to switch it but of course make sure that you are on Zora now we're gonna be clicking on deploy now then we're gonna be confirming the transaction obviously inside of our wallet so let's wait or we click on it to see if it can show up On approve I'm gonna drop it to low let's go ahead and confirm and then we do have a second step which is just adding it to the dashboard and basically we're done just by doing that we're having some diversification and hopefully in the future let's say that one of the requirements to receive maybe the airdrop a B or a bigger airdrop is um, deploying a contract then hopefully we can receive a bigger one and this process as you can see took me less than five minutes and it also costs you less than two dollars so this is something that i do think everybody should do it if they're actually farming zora so let's wait a little bit so i can show you the dashboard we're done here let me go ahead and remove that now we should be on the dashboard and there we go so now we have all the information should come somewhere that I should be able to mint. Oh, there we go. Token tab. And the first thing that I'm going to do is minting an NFT. I don't know if I have enough funds right now because I was actually minting. I'm sorry, minting a token, not an, an NFT. Let's see if I have enough funds. If not, you guys already know the process. Just doing that because I already spent all my funds on some free NFTs. 35 cents. Let me drop it. 24 should be able to do it and now I should have some tokens and of course the next step is oh there you go 
Okay, perfect. So now I have a supply of 10,000 tokens and it doesn't really matter the amount of tokens that you want to create. You can create whatever you want from 1 to 1 billion, 10 billion, 1 trillion. It doesn't really matter. From there, you do have the option to use the burn mechanism, airdrop, which is sending those tokens to a few um, wallets, transferring, and then, of course, minting some more. So go ahead and use all of them. So basically, you will have more and more transaction on Zora. And of course, it will show as diversification on the blockchain. So there you go. If you have any questions, any doubts, as usual, just drop it in the comment section. And if this content was valuable enough, please share it to a friend, subscribe, like, happy farming, guys.